Hey guys, what's up? Is it Tech here? In this video, I will show you the Biftor uh, version 12 ROM, which is the latest ROM for the Galaxy S2, and it basically it is for the international version. And let's see this ROM here. I've just flashed. The ROM is pretty much stable. No problems. As you can see, we have some colors here, white and pink. Let's go into the settings. This ROM is based on Android 4.1.2. And I'm running Sia kernel. This ROM comes with a, a kernel called a Jibu. And but I just flashed the Sia kernel latest version which is the version 6.0 beta 5 and this is the beta, uh, Biftar uh, ROM version 12 Jelly Bean. so there are a lot of features here but one thing I don't like about this ROM is that the multitasking is not good as you can see it's the Play Store I click it will not open just like this I will click it will not open it is just a transparent so that's the only problem of this ROM so far it's working great with Sia kernel 2 and also that Jibu kernel so the best feature of this ROM is the Biftar ROM control you have a lot of options here general settings you can turn on the kill app button and power menu button we have the enable all version feature here we have different kind of lock screen here we have the Acer Cloud lock screen, we have Galaxy a Ripple Circle S4, we have Blackberry 10 and AOSP lock screen and LG Optimus and Xperia ZHD and I can try out the LG Optimus lock screen as you can see this is the LG Optimus 4X HD and the LG Optimus G lock screen uh, effect here we can also have more this ROM also comes with a lot of wallpapers Biftor wall wallpapers as you can see bunch of wallpapers here you can try out we have color control you can change the color of the uh, status bar and notification and everything we have the touch is launcher settings you can turn off the wallpaper scrolling and you can have launcher rotation according to your phone orientation we have the LCD density settings you can change the LCD density settings and we can change the Biftor control theme in the holo dark light also we have the phone settings here you can end call delay income calls outgoing calls advanced settings BD headsets and if you use like hand free a lot of times then this is the settings for you so overall this ROM is nice but the only problem is the multitasking which is not uh, working right now as I have expected so for the future wise this ROM is good and nice and we also have the pop-up browser which is from the Note 2 and camera works fine we have the same camera here same stock camera it's stuck there so there are a little bit problems camera was working fine before but now it's causing some problems so so far it's great but not too great so yeah that was a review and also like this video if you enjoy watching this then and please uh, subscribe